All right, originally I wanted to go outside and shoot this by the orange trees, but as you can see, it's pretty wet outside and it's raining. So that pretty much means you guys will have to deal with my messy kitchen. What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another King James video. Now, as you can read from the title, titles are down there, right? We have a new medium format film camera. Now, this camera is my dream camera. Ultimately, I've been wanting this for maybe two years now. And ever since I first saw it, I knew that was the medium format camera that I wanted. But in 2017, I believe it was 2017, maybe late 2017, I purchased a Yashica Mat 124 and that was kind of like the gateway of me getting into uh, medium format film photography and I absolutely loved it. I ended up owning two Yashica Mats and I shot with it a lot. Now the issue with the Yashica Mat for me was that it shot a 6x6 negative which is pretty much just a square format. And you know, I'm usually used to that 3 to 2 ratio of her 35mm and composing on 6x6 was a little bit more than I anticipated it would be. It was a little bit harder as well. So I got used to the 6x6 format but I also wanted to experiment with something else, uh, maybe a negative that's more traditional. And so I went on the internet and did my research and I narrowed my options down to about 2 to 3 other cameras that would suit what I wanted. And those were I believe the Fuji 645, you also had the RB67 and the Pentax 67. But I knew in my mind there was really only one camera on that list that I really personally wanted. And after two long years of waiting for a deal to happen, I finally got my hands on my dream camera, the Pentax 6.7. Bam, look at this thing, y'all. This is the Pentax 6x7. It's not the 672. This is the 6.7 with the mirror lockup feature. Now, I want to talk really quick about how I acquired this. I actually ordered this off of eBay, I believe for around $300 for the body. Now, I did pick up the the 105 2.4 lens on the front which by the way I have a funny story so again I hopped on eBay and I found this listing for a 105 2.4 going for about hundred and four dollars I looked at the images and it didn't seem that bad the lens looked a little yellowed but I wanted to go out there and just take a risk so what I did was I ordered it but when it finally came in the mail, which took about maybe two to three days, not long at all, this lens showed up to my door, which is the 150 2.867 lens. So I messaged the guy on eBay and I was like, yo, you sent me the wrong lens. Like, yeah, this is for a Pentax X7, but it's not the one that I ordered. And he hit me up and he was like, yo, my bad, man. You know, there's so much stuff going on. Um, I will be able to send you the 105 2.4 for free. So in retrospect, we got the 152.8, which is actually a really dope portrait lens. I've shot some portraits with this already and it looks amazing. We also got the 105 2.4 and the Pentax 6.7 body mirror lockup for under $500. So when all of the pieces came together and I got the two lenses and I got the body, I look at it now and I realize like, man, I got really lucky with this deal. Now the Pentax 6.7 is one of those cameras that I really, really enjoy because first of all it has a waist level viewfinder now would you just look at this thing right here it is beautiful it's huge as well and one of the cool things about the Pentax 67 is that it's basically just an oversized SLR so it's really comfortable to hold and to shoot I also have the meter that goes along with this finder right here so I have a complete setup and if you just look at the camera man it is in immaculate condition this was such a a freaking steal. Now with the Pentax 6.7 I plan to do a whole variety of other photography stuff and this is going to be one of the main cameras that I'm going to be using for the new series Photography Unwired. I'm planning to do a lot more portrait videos, I'm planning to do some landscape and I also want to try some street photography with this beast so if you want to see more content with the Pentax 6.7 maybe even street photography comment down below and also drop a like because man I am just so excited to shoot this thing. Also, for those of you guys wondering, these are the more gooder buttons and they just slap right on the Pentax 6.7. So, and this kit alone, again, cost me under 500 bucks. So I highly suggest if you want to try medium format, this might be one of the good options to get into it with. You can also go for like a Yashica mat and go the route that I did when I first started. Um, those are pretty inexpensive. You can pick them up for about 150 to $250, depending on the condition. But whew, this is a bulky, heavy, big camera. But you know, I'm looking forward to seeing what pictures I can take with this and all of the different videos that we're going to create on this channel uh, so yeah that's my gateway back into 120 medium format film photography just wanted to update you guys on the new camera that I got and uh, again we're gonna be dropping a lot more videos on this so you know what stay tuned subscribe and I'll see you guys next time and for this video Pentax game yeah.